guys, what's up? The Gaming Bunny here, and today I will be giving you guys my tips for the Week 9 challenges in Fortnite Battle Royale. So, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you for 3,000 subscribers, um, or at least I'm assuming that we're going to hit that today or tomorrow. But yeah, so the first challenge is to deal damage with explosive weapons to opponents, and it's 500 damage. This is um, kind of hard, but kind of easy. I say it's overall easy because all you need to do is find some C4s, but it may be kind of hard to do that. But once you find C4s, uh, they recently buffed them, and they do a lot of damage. So if um, someone's trying to build, like if you guys are in a build battle, just make sure to kind of like try and blow up their base. Or just try and throw as many C4s as possible at them, it'll do a lot of damage. Um, I also got a few kills with some like grenade launchers. If you see someone in a house and you have grenades, just um, toss them in the house and try and do as much damage as possible. RPGs are absolutely amazing for this game mode, same with grenade launchers. If someone's trying to build a base, you can just destroy it and try and kill them with that weapon as well. Next challenge just to search chests and moisty mire. This one's pretty easy. What I did was I just landed at the uh, crab at the back because there's, um, I believe you, there's max up to two chests there. But, um, and sometimes there's none, but for me, I got lucky, and every time there was a chest there. And then, I would push up near, like, the main film studio and see if there's any leftover chests. Next challenge is to use a shopping cart. Um, and this kind of goes along with the next challenge, which is to visit the center of name locations in a single match. Because I landed retail for the shopping cart. Um, and then I went to the center of retail, then I went to the center of Lonely Lodge, which is kind of like near the northern part, to be honest. And then I went to Wailing Woods, and it was kind of a little bit below the, um, the main maze. And then I went to Tomato Town, and it's basically where you would think it would be in Tomato Town. So yeah, that's how you get those two challenges done. Next challenge is to follow the treasure map out in Haunted Hills, and I do have a video clip for you guys. So this is where the secret battle start is for week 9. I'm going to go ahead and collect it. And as you can see on the map, I am on top of one of these car stacks at Junk Junction. So, sorry it's kind of hard to see um, since the map is pretty small, but there it is. The next challenge is Shotgun Eliminations. Hard, and there's four of them. This is actually pretty simple, as most people get most of their kills with shotguns anyway. If you land fast and find a shotgun, you can just try and rush anyone who doesn't have a weapon. Or even if you do have a shotgun and you see someone, you can just challenge them to a fight, and it's not that hard to get a kill with a shotgun. Try and go for headshots if you have a pump shotgun, and heavy shotgun has a lot of range. And the fire rate of the tactical shotgun is really good, so keep those tips in mind. So the next challenge is to eliminate opponents in Anarchy Acres. Uh, three of them. And this was overall pretty easy because um, I I just kind of landed somewhere where no one else was. And then as soon as I found a weapon, I kind of just rushed everyone who had, like, pretty bad loot. And I just ended up getting the kill. Or if some people were in a fight, I just rush in and try and steal the kill. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there's no... There is no, like, loading screen or anything like that for this week. And, yeah, so it's pretty crazy because week... Or season four is almost done in 13 more days. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace.